Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Meaty69. Welcome back to the channel. I was going to say welcome back to the player. Uh, welcome, I don't know why. Welcome back to the channel. Now, this makes me want to cry. These, these kind of battles really just make me want to cry my eyes out. Like, I've watched Titanic. Uh, at the end, you know, where Jack dies. Uh, uh, these kind of battles are, are just like that. Um, so we're going to have two amazing battles for you. Uh, they do, well, the second one's not really that amazing. But it's a, a big amount of damage. And he does pretty well, but he is up against some uh, noob players. I actually thought it was noob matchmaking. But yeah, it turns out it, it wasn't. It's just uh, the normal matchmaking. But first up, we have the E75. Now, the E75 is probably one of the best uh, heavy tanks in, uh, in Tier 9. It can hold its own in Tier 10. And when you are playing in Tier 8, you can really deal some damage and be, uh, be a pain to the enemy team now our guy here he's gone left now his team are kind of here there's a couple here uh, but there are a few that also went to the right and of course one is dead already now I'm actually surprised he stayed up here knowing that there is quite a few tanks spotted to the right I thought he would have pushed uh, to the left side um, as we are, we, 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 we was aware that there was the Scorpion G there. Uh, and the Scorpion G is now running away. So he does get a shot onto the Scorpion G again, which is a very nice shot. Brings him down to a one shot. But I think if he would have moved a little bit earlier, he could have cleared him uh, already. But, you know, he, I get why he didn't do it. And it's probably why I'm, I'm a noob. Because uh, not seven tanks, all seven tanks weren't spotted. And if he would have dropped down, we've, we've all done it we've all done it where we think no one's there so you drop down or you go to a certain uh, side and all of a sudden five tanks are open and it's just too late to turn back like you have to commit at that point so at the moment he's doing very very well still full hit points for now and he's on 1400 block damage and now he's going to push this Samoa uh, good decision in pushing I would prob would I go for the Samoa or would I go for the waffle at this point I'd probably go for the waffle uh, yes the Samoa is basically a a two shot but the waffle could be a two shot as well but you know they cleared that Samoa pretty quickly with the help of the uh, the Borzik here so now it is a three versus six they are all pushing this waffle so he's not going to stay alive much longer and that was a nice fire there uh, but taken out by the uh, the shark and it is now a two versus five uh, two versus five the t49 obviously is on a reload he is a juicy target and he gets a lovely high roll there lovely max roll for the kill so that's his first bit of damage now he has the scorpion g behind the tank that he could have potentially cleared uh, earlier on in the battle and he does take a shot uh, but he does take care of the scorpion g and when i say about clearing tanks he if he would have cleared that scorpion g he would have been on a bit more uh, hit points than he is now so the tank to his right his team uh, his teammate is uh, bleeding hit points he's being rushed basically by two tanks and he's trying to deal with this uh, this defender mark one and he would have had another shot in this defender mark one hadn't he not taken the shot against the scorpion g so he could have been cleared by now because it is a he has a high roll as well is he going to be able to clear him with this shot yes he gets another max roll there so it's now a one versus two he is on six thousand damage but he is in an awkward situation now where he's amarak is damage he's uh, got a tank to his left a tank to his right his reload is 20 seconds and there's really not much you can do when you've got no repair kits uh, but at this point he's still going to do absolutely brilliantly you'd think it's already game over at this point with the st1 behind uh, he's now a one shot and with a t30 32 in front but he's still got two seconds left on the reload he is now a one shot he does get a nice bounce there you can see him trying to go for the one shot and he does that and it is now four kills 6.7k damage with just one tank left alive but you know he's on full hit points whilst our guy in the e75 is a one shot but he's going to try and bounce as much as he can and already 3600 damage he's blocked uh, it's only going to take two more shots he needs two more shots can he block another couple of shots from this st there's one blocked he needs just one more blocked shot can he do it he's going to get the shot here brings the st down to a one shot and of course 
always happens. You block all these shots, and then as you get the tank to a one shot, yeah, he kills him. But nevertheless, 8,100 damage. An amazing game there. And unfortunately, just couldn't quite get it over the uh, over the finish line. One shot. That's so frustrating. And maybe the difference there was that Scorpion G. But, you know, you never know. You never know. Next up, we uh, have um, a Chieftain Mark VI. And this is the game where I thought it was... Uh, I thought it was newbie matchmaking, and you'll see why, because the enemy just make it so freaking easy for him, and I don't think he does too much wrong here, but we're gonna we're gonna have a look at through the battle and decide what he does wrong, what he could have done differently that could have changed the outcome of this game. So the E50M has just rushed in. He's gone full YOLO mode. Yes, he gets the kill, um, but yet he dies as well. So already he's only on 500 damage so far. He's already got a kill. Only half a minute con, and there is two tanks uh, down. So he's gonna have the side of the object 84 here. Um, so so far he's doing a decent job now the chieftain mark six is a fantastic tank played correctly it's got good dpm it's got good speed it's got good uh, it's got a nice turret and uh, it can it can bounce it's got gun depression as well of course it does have some weak points and those weak points can uh, cause you some issues now he's going to go for the object 704 uh, sorry the object 84 there uh, which was actually a nice shot now he's actually pushing quite far forward he's going to get a nice again a nice shot there into the object and now the object is going to run away he's almost a one shot and now there's just these two tanks so there's an e75 here and there is the Pajetto uh Pajetto 65 now personally i would go for the Pajetto. he's probably the more dangerous target and he could have easily got that shot on the Pajetto. but instead he goes for the e75 and now he's going to go for the Pajetto. but i like the fact that he's trying to use the hash on this thing you can pest he uh, pen the hash and he's going to try and go for it again but unfortunately that one there was a fail roll now i wouldn't at in that kind of situation, when the tank's moving, I wouldn't normally go for the Hesh shot. I would just go for the standard round, the standard ammo, um, because you know it's easy to do. Uh, just hit the tracks whilst you are, um, whilst that tank is moving. Now he does play a little bit aggressive here. I don't think he needed to move in here. I don't think he needed to move in. The E75 was looking to the left, and because he pushed in, the E75 did sort of turn on him and actually do a little bit of damage to him. Uh, that there was a nice shot, but he could have just stayed where he was and he wouldn't have taken any damage from that E75. And of course, I always say it, and I've got a video coming out probably tomorrow or the next day of the exact same uh, thing that we're talking about, about saving hit points. One decision can change the outcome of the game. Uh, so maybe that will be tomorrow's video. If not tomorrow, it will be the next day. And basically, it's just one of my battles where I make one one fatal decision that cost her, uh, that cost cost us the battle so the grill there is now a one shot he does clear him and just look how i mean look at these two guys they don't want to know at the moment they don't want to know so again he's going to go and try and go for the he which he does but that was an extremely low roll just over 400 uh, damage to that uh, to that yo now he is on a reload but he's still playing very aggressively he's still trying to get that shot off he even though the yo has reloaded he's still trying to get that shot off he gets away with that there with the yo missing uh, and he gets away with that one there and this is why i thought maybe this is noob matchmaking so the yo is now on a reload Reload, so he can play a little bit more aggressive he can show more of his tanks so he's there waiting so when he's reloaded he has the shot ready and again he's going to try and go for the he shot and he does so 500 damage there now the yo again he's going to be reloading i think he's got one shell left and he is going to get taken out but at this point it's a three versus two a three versus two and the enemy have all three bases yes they have all three bases so at this point you need to either kill these tanks as soon as possible or start capping the bases now i have no idea what this object 140 was doing i had no idea he just didn't move at all he could have got away and even this uh, this waffle here this waffle is a one shot but yet he decides to come and push forward and just yolo basically so uh 8,800 damage done at the moment, 9,200 damage, but again with three supremacy bases and that kill there on the waffle that didn't need to happen, that 
is bad. That's very bad. Does get a nice high roll there, and he is now a one shot. But you know, 900 supremacy points, and there we go, nine, 1,000. And as soon as he kills this guy, there is that Pajetto from earlier, being a one shot as well. Heartbreaking, but a fantastic game. 9,700 damage. Hope you guys enjoyed these replays. Remember, always look what you're doing. If you, Watch your battles at the end. If you think you've made a mistake, go back and watch your battles, and you will see what you've done wrong, and you'll learn from it. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I'm Meadsy. I'll catch you soon. Bye-bye.